Hello guys, uh, I hope you're doing well. So today we are going to work on how to create a full screen and non-editable database in Microsoft Access. So definitely uh, this will help you to create a full screen and non editable database in Microsoft Access so as you can give the copy to everyone as they can just uh, work on it but they cannot see the options and they cannot change its uh, options so let's start to how to create this database first of all we are going to open Microsoft Access So here it is and now we will choose this option blank desktop database and then you can give a name for your database so my file name is going to be uh, full screen database and as you can see here we can change the location for that so I'm just going to choose my desktop okay and create uh, right now we have created the database successfully I'm not going to create any table or queries or anything else I'm just going directly to the form design so here we go I'm just clicking on this and uh, you can add any of elements you want for your main page as your database so I'm just going to add a text box or a label called my full screen database main page and let's do something to make this text a little bit to look good can just make it a bit wider and uh, I will just place it over here and whatever else you need for your main screen or main page you can add for the quad if you want buttons if you want tabs if you want hyperlinks if you want frames if you want option groups whatever which is required for your database you can add them and one thing more I would like to add that uh, when you just design your database completely and when you want to use it in productions or when you want to give it to your customers so I'm just working the last steps to how to make the, your database wider full screen and the users should not have access to your these options such as the tabs such as this uh, objects your options these all has to be locked so I'm just now creating a page which it looks like a real database that's how I'm working to create some objects so I'm telling that uh, I will have home for example I will have students button I will have uh, teachers button I will have something like uh, attendance and that's it next okay I just don't want any one of them as default and uh, I'm just going for this option toggle buttons next and finish and then I'm just coming here and writing a new name for that called navigations so now just have a look when I'm clicking on the form view you can see that my form has been open here and I can see the options here I also can see the objects here I can change the options from here so what I want is to make this <coughs> from full screen so I, I may do not have more access to these options anymore so let's do that first of all what you have to do is to go to the property sheet 
or before that before that you can go to options from the file menu you can come to current database and as you can see here we have an option called the display form display form we don't have any form to display here so what we have to do is that we have to save our this form uh, and we will name it as main page and now we will go back to the options and we will choose the same main page from here okay and what it does it does uh, when you open your database as you can see this uh, will be is your main page okay this is done and now uh, we will come back to the options current database and uh, you can choose overlapping windows from here and this will help you this will help you when you open your database as you can see now you are this uh, form as movable it's not that it's overlapped and you can move it around the window and you can resize it as well so these are the first steps that we are making and the next step you have to uh, click on your form and then you have to come here for the property sheet and uh, as you can see here you have to choose the form from the selection type the selection type has to be form and then we have a tab called all here we are going to make some small changes for example the pop-up has to be yes and uh, uh, the data sheet view has to be no and uh, auto resizable has to be no fit to screen yes uh, border style has to be none record selectors uh, and navigation buttons we don't need scroll bars as well control bars and uh, close button minimum and maximum minimize and maximize buttons uh, movable has to be no as well so we have, we have gone and that's it and then uh, just because we are closing all these options so we have to create a new button here just like I'm doing here and I will tell this that uh, this should be able to quiet the application so here it is when the user wants to exit database so they can click on this button they don't have access to these options anymore as we have changed uh, the options and then we will go to the form again we will come to the event and there is called an event on current which where the page loaded and uh, the functions which we are going to write here will be scripted automatically so what I'm going to write here is do cmd dot maximize. I will save this and I will go back to my access. And now when I click on the form view, as you can see, I don't have any uh, thing on my screen. I just have the form, but I still can come and right click here and choose design view. To cancel this, you can go back to the options and you can come to the current database and you have to do these things first of all you have to untick use access special keys you have to disable all these and uh, you we will come back here we will say that the uh, display navigation pen has to be closed we don't want to see the full menus here and we don't want to see the default shortcut which is the same right click and the option which appears there and then we will click on ok so for we will just close this and come back and as you can see now if I right click or left click I don't have any of these options I just can use these options and finally I just can do it that I have to quiet the application so this is how you can create a full screen and non editable database in Microsoft Access. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe for new videos.